I knew uh, he's a super high level black belt under Henzo, so he was going to be dangerous on the ground. Uh, I also saw in the film I was able to find on him prior that that's really where he's comfortable. He looks a little, a little bit like he's still getting the hang of the rest of the game, so I wanted to do my best to make it a fist fight instead of a grappling match, and I felt like that paid off tonight. How much of a weight is it off your shoulders just to get this win, uh, and especially doing so in New York? Uh, it's huge. Um, last year was a terrible year. I was really disappointed. Uh, so so I, I was carrying a lot of pressure on my shoulders. Kind of felt like I was fighting my career, for my career tonight. Um, and uh, I'm just super happy to get in there, get 15 minutes of good, uh, good ring experience in and uh, come out unscathed and, and with the W. And I know the plan is to go back to lightweight, but uh, how'd you feel in there at welterweight? A little bit different, a little odd at all? A little different. I, I, I definitely felt a little underpowered in there. Yeah. Um, if it had been one of the, the big physical athletic types of welterweights that, that you see in the division, some of those guys are just physically are monsters. And, and uh, you know, I know that'd be a bad look for me. I'm not the most physically imposing guy even in my own weight class, but uh, but I felt fresh. This this week was, was great. I was able to feel sharp and, and energized all week, knowing I didn't have that weight cut hanging over my head. Uh, so, so that was definitely a boost for me. I felt, I felt better tonight because of, of not cutting the weight. Why did you fight at 170 if you want to go back to 155? I wanted to fight in the garden. That was my opportunity to get on this card. And as soon as they announced they were coming here, I knew that was was, was something that would be huge for me. It would be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And, and uh, I was willing to do whatever it took to get on this event. Because the weight cut, you only had to cut like three, four pounds, right, this week? Yeah, I think I showed up weighing 173 on Tuesday. So. Is there a part of you that just wants to stick around at 170 because it's just so much easier? Yeah, yeah, but then there's a part of me that knows what that would do for my for my brain's longevity and, and uh, you know, 155's home and, and I'll get back on that grind and on that weight cut for the next one. And you said you, were, you thought maybe you were fighting for your career. What, what do you mean by that? Like, had you lost, would you have called it quits? I would have had some real, uh, some real thinking to do. Um, you know, at, at this stage in my career and at, at my age, I'm almost 35, so I don't have too many more competitive years in me physically. And, and uh, to go 0-3 and, and, and potentially, you know, I know Bellator is a little more lenient and, and they're very fighter friendly and understanding. And they, they you know, I, I have a good relationship with them, so it's not necessarily would have been on the chopping block, but that's always a possibility. You lose a few in a row, you get on that streak, you could be out of job. And, and I'm not sure if I would have had the desire to go back to the regional circuit and, and grind it out on smaller shows just to try and earn my way back up. So you're not trying to have a career as long as your dad, then you said you only have a couple years left. Yeah, I don't know how he did that. He's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you've obviously had a long career yourself. Um, you know, How did this event compare to other events that you've competed on, just the magnitude of this being a pay-per-view and everything else? Uh, it was just huge and exciting. It was fun to see all of the extra hoopla and, and all the marketing that went into this show. has been so cool. Uh, I'm really excited, uh, as much as I like talking to you guys, to get cleaned up and go enjoy the show. Um, so, yeah, it was just it was such a big event, had such a, a great, you know, momentous feel to, to the whole week, and, and it's been really fun to be a part of it. And when do you want to get back in the cage next? Soon. Uh, you know, I'd like to not take more than three months off. I'd like to stay busy and stay active, try and get some momentum going. I was on a good streak before last year happened, and I'd like to get another one going and really take a crack at, at working my way to that title shot. Brian, quick question. Your, your father never fought in Madison Square Garden. What does it mean to you to you know, do something like that for years? Most people thought it was not possible for a fighter to fight in MSG in New York under mixed martial arts rules. It was a huge honor. You know, I, I am so thankful for all the work that, that people like my old man put into building this sport and, and lobbying and rallying to get it uh, legalized here and, and lay the groundwork for something like this to happen. Uh, it's an honor to get to, to take advantage of all that and even better to get to have him in my corner and here with me through the experience. I know you're focused on the fight, but did you guys have a moment? I mean, it is pretty darn cool to be at MSG. Did he say something to you after about just like you guys kind of making it the Couture's in some way, shape, or form fighting in this arena? Uh, we haven't really had a chance to sit down yet and chat, but, uh, but just seeing that, that smile on his face, seeing that, that you know, fatherly pride coming out of the fight, knowing we got the win, and you know, just excited to go celebrate. It was his birthday this week, too, so it's going to be a fun party tonight. What's he, 65 now? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's only 54. <laughs> uh, Congrats.